Haley Hertz with us here in the Jama Dola Show, Abby Tonight's Cross Country. Well, tell us your story. You know, usually it's like, hey, I started soccer when I was five. <laughs> but nobody ever says, hey, I was a cross country runner when I was four. Like, how did you kind of get involved and say, hey, this running is kind of cool? Somebody in the family, you tried yeah. it. I did actually do soccer. <laughs> um, <laughs> I've been doing like the one mile races in elementary school. I did that from first to fourth grade and then I kind of got my dad to run with me for 5Ks and he started doing 10Ks and a half so he does like more of the distance stuff and we just both up with it and then I joined like the eighth grade cross country and then COVID so it was kind of like should I continue but I obviously did so. Talk about when you first met Coach Pacetti. those memories of I remember Coach Pacetti. <laughs> Yeah, I emailed him before I moved here, and he was, like, really nice. And I remember meeting him and doing the workouts, and I was a bit nervous because the mileage was, like, up from my old school and all that. But he's, like, he's a really good coach. I mean, he's my favorite coach I've had, and I've had, like, a lot of coaches, so. Let's talk about the relationship with these ladies. It's just <laughs> everybody I talk to are like, you know, we're kind of like best friends. Yeah. We're hanging out, so yeah. how fortunate are all of you? They're, they're amazing. They're some of my best friends. Um, we do a lot together. We're always with each other, like the dances and like we're doing a post um, season sleepover like we did last year. So I'm always with them. Who's the one who never goes to bed and then the sleepovers? <laughs> um, Anna, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Anna, make sure these other girls <laughs> get some rest. Um, how about as far as, uh, you know, the season? Talk about it's a grind. you, you got to yeah. get through the season. you got to make sure you stay healthy. How challenging was that? I mean, it was it was pretty challenging, especially because we were, like, ranked on mile split for the first time, and we wanted to, like, finally break through that bubble and stuff. Um, I did get sick, and I got through it, and we had some hip injuries and foot injuries, and then Reese got sick. So it was a lot of just, it, our spread is really close, so we could, like, all help each other out and stuff, and we just pushed through it, so... But the, as far as uh, the off season for you, what do you do? Will there be a lot of indoor training? Will it be outdoor? One yeah. of your teammates is like, listen, I don't like the cold. <laughs> yeah, um, I am doing indoor and outdoor. I'm not a fan of indoor, but I'm going to do it to stay consistent and everything. And then this year, instead of doing like the 800 mile, uh, my coach wants me to do the 3200 more. So I'm going to make that switch as well. So. And, uh, as far as... Uh, the states and, and finish in second and what an accomplishment that was yeah talk about what what that day was like for you and your teammates yeah, um one of us was like extremely nervous and we talked her into like having a good mindset um we ran we pushed each other i was like next to reese and i told her like we just got to keep going um and we finished and my coach told us and we all were just, it was like a movie. We all like ran up to each other and hugged each other. <laughs> it was really cute. So. Lots, lots of great memories, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Good to hear your story and so uh, enjoy the pizza. Thank you.